Okay, kids, today we're going to do Chapter 2, Section 1. This is percent of a number. Now, basically for these problems, you're going to be given a percent, and say, the question will say something like find this percent or that percent of whatever number. In order to do these, what you're going to do is you're going to convert the percent into a decimal and then multiply by the other number. For example, suppose a question said find 10% of 50. Well, to do this question, first you're going to take this 10% and you're going to convert this into decimal form. The way we do that is by doing the Beyonce to the left to the left. So move that over twice to the left. You're going to rewrite that, that's 0 0.10. Then you simply multiply by the other number. So doing this 0 0.10 times 50, we end up with 5. So that means 10% of 50 is 5. This works with any sized percent. It doesn't matter how big or how small. If you have a percent that's larger than a hundred, for example, find two hundred percent of six. Since I don't see a decimal here, I assume it's all the way at the far right. Move it to the left, two spots. Always do the Beyonce to the left to the left. This is going to be now 2.00 or 2. I'm going to multiply that by the other number, which in this case is 6, and when I do that, I end up with answer 12. Anytime you're finding a percent of a number, if the percent is larger than 100, you're going to end up with an answer that's bigger than the original number. 100% of something, since 100% is one whole, 100% of something is going to be the number itself. For example, find 100% of 6. Again, to the left to the left. So we have 1.00 times 6, and that is going to equal 6. So when you find 100% of a number, you end up with the same number. What if you do something really small? Let's say find 50% of 6. Well, 50% we know is half, and half of 6 is 3, but let's see mathematically to prove this to the left to the left, we end up with 0 0.50 times 6. And when we do that in our calculator, 0 0.50 times 6, we end up with 3, which is what we assumed. Now, if you have a percent that already has a decimal in it, that's fine, totally fine. So for example, find 10.34% of 500. To the left to the left, we end up with 0 0.1034 times 500. And in our calculators, 0 0.1034 times 500 we end up with 51.7. Now, even if the decimal is very small to begin with, you still do it the same way. For example, find 0.02% of 50. To the left, to the left. Now, see this little space right here? that space I can fill in with a zero. So this is actually going to end up being 0 0.0002. 0 0.002. Multiply that by 50. Let's see what we get. Be careful when you have so many zeros. Double check in your calculator. 0.0002. Let's see. 1, 2, 3 zeros after the decimal. 1, 2, 3 zeros after the decimal. Times 50 and I get 0 0.01. And the last thing for this lesson, some of you might be wondering, why is it that we go to the left to the left? Why is that? Well, remember from before that a percent 
is simply a percent is simply a number over a hundred. So for example, ten percent, what that really means is ten over a hundred. Well, ten percent, if I did my Beyonce trick to the left to the left, we would say this is zero point one zero. If instead you use your calculator and you divide it, ten divided by one hundred, zero point one and we know we can always add a zero to the end of any decimal, so look at that same number either way. All right, and that takes care of uh, Chapter 2, Section 1.